Hello guys, this is Vaish. So November 25 editorial. So uh, we have been requesting students to uh, keep liking and commenting our videos. But in spite of that, a uh, very, very few students who are also part, my, part of my test series and all, they are the only ones who are commenting and uh, responding. Okay. So see to it that something which you're getting for free, please don't take it for granted. Okay. The effort, it takes at least four hours to prepare the uh, presentation. Okay. It's not like editorial is like ready made and we know like what is the editorial going to come tomorrow. We are we're reading it we are preparing the presentation then making it in simplistic form for you so this complete thing actually as a part of paid class i can make it okay like editorial paid classes we can launch it anytime okay so if you are not ready to appreciate this uh, free initiative by likes and comments and subscriptions alone which is totally free and it takes i think how much less than 10 seconds or 15 seconds for you to click those buttons so if you don't do that it is very like disappointing okay so please see to it that you are uh, commenting all who are those who are commenting we appreciate their uh, gesture we expect that uh, you will continue to do so because others who are not serious about the aspirant and who don't care about this uh, mentorship free program and all, uh, we can't force them too much. Okay. But others who are very serious and you feel like you're learning something out of our uh, things, please see to that you respond. Okay. So email, WhatsApp, Instagram, Telegram, any source you can contact me. WhatsApp will be the fastest uh, way in which you will get responses. In today's articles, uh, some are interesting and some are not very uh, important to us. Okay. Like if you see here, these two big articles are of... Uh, not significant to discuss today because I'll tell you why one is about you know the farm laws were repealed so the news is not about that uh, the this Chandru about I think the JB movie is about him only justice so he is going on writing uh, an article almost every day now okay so this one he is telling like uh, in Andhra Pradesh also some state related some uh, laws are going to be repealed okay so it's about like uh, I think Andhra Pradesh initially was planning the capital at uh, uh, Amravati okay and then they planned a uh, uh, three city capital kind of model okay like uh, in Amravati like one is like executive capital then legislative capital then judicial capital like the three different cities I think uh, Amravati, Kurnol and one more is Vijayawada or somewhere okay so that you try to find out if you want but uh, not very important so that uh, one party is telling like we need only one capital another party is telling we need three capitals so that some debate and some two laws are getting repealed so they are just com the author is comparing it with the three farm laws being repealed at the center to the two uh, state laws being repealed in Andhra Pradesh okay else it is not very important for your exam sake then here it is like in Sri Lanka some food crisis is there so that again for you it is not important for interest sake or essay sake if you want you can read but not important for your exam okay this is important uh, here uh, two three terminologies uh, which you often hear but you don't know the concept like what is ott what is net neutrality okay then there is something called walled gardens so th some terms are there it's all about the uh, telecom companies and internet companies so we'll discuss this because the new internet age it is and you have to know all these things okay and then here if you see poxo we already discussed one article so this is a continuation of that in a different case where children are getting uh, molested or something is happening so that we'll discuss so two articles then here the virus uh, co uh, cases the covid cases in europe has been increasing rapidly the number of death is very very huge and it's like complete lockdowns are coming in there okay so hopefully india will not have to face like that a wave uh, in near future but uh, europe case is like very very disappointing so that also quickly we'll see what are the points then this again economics term k-shaped recovery in last year's economic survey completely v-shaped recovery was mentioned and india was in like v-shape but now uh, experts are telling that india is not in v-shaped recovery it is in k-shaped recovery so what is that we'll discuss so one two three four article four articles is important to discuss this one is like congress party in kerala they are always you know they have hundreds of uh, factions like congress a congress b congress c they keep breaking up after each election and they are like simply playing politics there so so not a good thing for us then here if you see this learning pattern yesterday also a table was the same thing like in corona time more people are taking private education private coaching online coaching so here some again tables are there telling like uh, whoever the parents okay if the parents are educated okay like high parent education means they are the ones who are opting making their children to do more online kind of learning okay online classes so the higher the lower the uh, parents education lower the enrollment rate of that thing okay in compared to 2020 it has increased but if you vertically compare the highest uh, parental education such people are making their children to have more online education so that kind of some uh, pattern other than that that table is not important so four important articles which i told we will discuss today so as i told all these are part of free coaching and uh, even uh, the schedule for all the free live lectures in the next two months i have published it yesterday if you have not seen go and watch it is the latest video which is uploaded in our channel so there you will come to know similarly vice courses channel the viewership is very very uh, less and so next year when i'll be claiming vice versus upsc and i'll be telling like okay here this report of ilo was asked in the exam or this trilateral exercise was asked in the exam that time please do not tell that we did not teach you okay completely free it was available on this channel so please see to it that you subscribe and watch and like and comment else these things also will be discontinued and we'll put it as a 
part of paid courses okay so tamil nadu ncrt tamil nadu textbook is getting huge responses so please see to it that you respond again and nitin singhani also up to 20 lectures have come uh, 25th lectures up to that it is already scheduled also so see to it that again those are also supported okay some of the other ncrt and all we will be halting now because you are not responding and uh, we will be putting it as paid classes okay so the most serious aspirant obviously i know they will come and uh, join for that others uh, you have missed out the chance of getting free lectures okay but other main lectures some of them are continuing some of them have been uh, discontinued okay now the contact details email and whatsapp is given here please see to it that you are already in my whatsapp or telegram now poxo again if you see error okay two three days back also same article i discussed so poxo act i'm not going to discuss here please go and watch that episode to understand the technical part of it so children uh, you know getting molested like 10 years old 12 years old 8 years old so that time there was a case like uh, the uh, like skin to skin contact is not there the uh, child was uh, touched above the cloth so it doesn't come under that serious assault and that uh, two people were given like acquitted from the court and he they were not punished so the supreme court understood that High court has done a blunder and supreme court gave the a proper punishment they reversed the judgment now when exactly that day on reversal of judgment allahabad high court has done again sim something similar which is a blunder okay a 10 year old boy was uh, kind of you can tell molested or you can tell uh, done bad things to him by another man who uh, with his private parts and all tried to touch him or something okay so it's, it was a very serious thing so this uh, people again the court is telling like it is a penetrative sexual assault which is of seven year uh, punishment but it is not under aggravated uh, thing okay which is a little more serious which has 10 years and up to lifetime and all punishment is there so again supreme court will interfere now telling like this is not how you should inter interpret this laws and all it's not like literally what is written in the thing okay it is the intention of the person whether he was trying to do the most serious kind of crime that is what you have to see so this already supreme court have given a warning to another high court now allahabad high court has done the repeated the same thing so this is it okay the uh, news is about this only section 4 is used which is lesser punishment instead of section 5 so here section 5 if you want you can note down for some exams they ask even the detailing of that so like if the suppose the offender okay the person who is uh, doing some things to children if he is like a, a government servant or a public or armed forces any like that kind of staff or any holy religious place or that means that they are under section 5 okay meaning it's a very very serious crime okay again many things are there if there are a group of offenders or if there are it is like done repeatedly the molestation or when it is like uh, use of weapons are there or something like injury to uh, body parts or mental physical torts or something is there it's all coming under that section 5 where you should have been punished for the higher uh, thing okay 10 years or above okay and also the age of the child also should be uh, 12 years and below that is when this comes under this section 5 but this court used the section 4 of the poxo act okay so that is what here they're telling the court either missed the legal provision or did not take into consideration that the child is uh, just 10 years old that is falling below the 12 years old so it is actually falling under that category but court has not uh, uh, seen it okay so it is telling like matter of coincidence that the supreme court i told you like already gave a thing like you should not uh, simply read the plain meaning of poxo provision you should not see you should see the seriousness of the issue okay so that same day Allahabad high court is ruling something like this is not correct okay so if you are a very serious aspirant who had seen that episode all these things will be connecting to you okay others who are seeing this for the first time you will struggle and that i i uh, feel that you should actually struggle okay because when we tell please watch all episodes it's not simply told okay a serious aspirant, a disciplined aspirant is the only one who are going to clear any exam. Okay, let it be UPSC, SSC and all. So please don't expect that we will again start from the basic like what is Poxo and what happened that day and all. We will not repeat. Okay, so please watch all the episodes. Now the EU uh, COVID cases, okay, the death and the uh, these things and all, too much it is in the last uh, few weeks. And if you see, it's again driven by Delta variant, which was told like the first ever case of Delta came in India. And now even in Singapore, Malaysia side also, the Delta variant is too much and people are dying. Okay, literally the highest count ever since the pandemic, meaning the highest ever since the pandemic means you can imagine how much deaths would be happening and it's not like one country it is like in austria netherlands germany denmark norway everywhere high high cases are there even in romania ukraine and all so if you see it's in the central kind of europe it's in the eastern kind of europe the western side of europe if you know the, almost everybody are double dose vaccinated even ireland if you see they are the highest also where 90 percent of the adults are fully vaccinated so western side is doing better is what the article is telling and they are telling now france is setting an example where i think cases are lesser and also the deaths which is happening it is mostly to people who are not vaccinated okay so you know the importance of vaccination by this news itself you have to get vaccinated if you have not done 
please get vaccinated the covid is having lesser impact on those people okay it's not like you will not get covid but the impact will be lesser it will not reach up to the death level okay something can be done some extra booster shots they'll give and you will be recovering okay even if you see austria has made a rule now like uh, three weeks uh, of uh, national lockdown is there and also uh, from february if you don't have the double dose vaccinated then you cannot step out of your house you will be uh, you cannot travel anywhere okay so that is actually a good thing you should not uh, uh, let uh, people roam around freely okay so death is predominantly among the unvaccinated okay and who is also telling like too many too many cases are going to happen by this year end if you don't take because christmas is coming new year is coming you know people are going to roam around people are going to do shopping and it is going to be a too much interactive kind of atmosphere so that will create a lot of deaths okay so the warning has come so hope they will take it seriously okay and back vaccine alone is not sufficient okay to break all this chain the other things which are non pharmaceutical things wearing the mask the physical distancing the improved ventilation confirm these things and all they have never taken seriously okay simply you cannot tell like okay our 100 percent people are double vaccinated so we won't get corona that is a wrong thing you have to still wear the mask still do everything even in india if you know all the tourist places are open all the travel things are open everybody are roaming around even without mask so please see to it that india doesn't turn out to this uh, present day europe conditions okay because then it is like no going back you cannot reverse it people dead is dead okay so all the public health measures and everyone people because you cannot tell government or you cannot blame the government you yourself are responsible okay so please see to it that you again sanitize and do these things so that is the europe article now a important economics article k-shaped recovery okay first you should know what is this recovery like whenever you know economy goes down how it will be like graph is like this and economy will go down okay now it has to recover so last year economic survey told like india has hit the bottom and now india is recovering like this india is going like this and so we have a v-shaped recovery okay we have gone down and we are coming up this is how the economic survey people and everybody told. But now what the uh, uh, economist people are telling that we don't have V-shape. Instead, like we are going like this, we went down. But while coming back, some sectors came up, some sectors are still going down. So what is this? Like a K, okay, a K-shaped recovery it is. So this, if you see here, see, this is what they're telling, K-shaped recovery. Okay, see this blue color, that is this technology, retail, software, you know, everybody went online, every online businesses, they are all growing. But the other things, okay, like travel, entertainment, hospitality, they are all going down. So it's a kind of K-shape. Okay, this K-shape is what the economy recovery means. So like this, many shapes are there, W shape, U shape, and all this, all that only like going up, going down. You can connect it with like up and down. Okay, so that is important next year maybe a mains question will come okay this year it's still 2021 whoever is taking mains please uh, see to it that uh, in january when you give the uh, exam okay these things are uh, practiced okay so here again different different charts if you see different types of jobs which can go up and which can go down when in a, whenever a pandemic comes okay and here also see professional things are going up and everyone's are going down so these are just figurative things in your exam also you can make exactly this figure so that in the starting itself when author sees this the i mean the examiner sees this he will understand that, okay you know the concept remaining is all you are just shaping the answer so see to it that figures are drawn in the starting of the answer itself okay so in the article they are telling there has been great talks about v-shaped recovery for quite a long time but uh, now if you see it is not v-shaped we look more like a k-shaped recovery as i told in the uh, starting in the picture okay because there is an uneven impact on different socio-economic groups okay meaning some industries are recovering rapidly than the others so in this article they have given examples and different different uh, industries they have given okay like specific specific industry they'll tell and main thing they are telling the taxation policy which in india there it is regressive and it is not progressive so what is this regressive progressive for that first you have to know what is indirect tax and what is direct tax okay direct tax means in your income okay in your income tax it tax you are paying right or the corporate tax which companies pay like in from your salary like 15 percent or 20 percent or 40 percent how much ever you are paying direct tax to the government okay so these are all uh, progressive tax why it is progressive tax because the uh, more the salary more you will be paying meaning a, a fresher a fresher and an it company he'll be play, paying just maybe five percent or ten percent okay go and check the slabs latest one and if it's like higher salary he is paying like 20 percent even higher salary it's like 30 percent so more your salary more you're paying so it's a progressive tax and it's a good thing and every country should have this one direct taxes more taxes okay and indirect taxes what the things like you are paying gst or in petrol you are paying the vat or excise duty these things and all like even if suppose uh, uh, ambani will go and uh, uh, put petrol Petrol or you go and put petrol both are giving the same thing okay there's no differentiation so that is a regressive tax okay so this in our country problem is that the regressive tax is higher 
and the direct tax is lower. Even recently, the corporate tax and all, it was 30%, it reduced to 25%, I think. So, it is all reducing. Even the tax labs of everyone, middle class people, everybody's income tax, everything was reduced in the last six to seven years, if you see. Okay, gradually, it was reduced. But here, indirect tax is going up in most of the things. Okay, recently also now, you know, the textiles and all, 5% slab increased to 12% slab. So, all this pressure is coming on the middle class groups. Okay, so that is why our country has this problem where uh, a regressive tax, that is indirect tax, is more than the progressive tax or the direct tax okay this is the point again round and round so he, now to see actual impact on middle class he is telling the author is telling two wheelers uh, sales you can check because two wheelers is something which mostly the middle class people will buy not the premium level motorcycles which you are telling because premium car premium motorcycle and all it is actually there is no impact people were buying uh, on a specific numbers before pandemic also now also it's kind of the same numbers because those who can afford it only they, those people will buy that but the normal ones okay the normal bikes or normal scooters which the uh, middle class people buy that is on a decline okay that means the middle class people are not having enough money to uh, survive or sustain or go for these kind of extra purchases so that is one example they're telling that the two-wheeler thing is going down okay then again taxation i told you the same thing maintaining indirect tax on fuel and consumer products by lowering the corporate tax and then increasing this kind of textile products tax so this and all the middle class lower class people's income you know that was always constant okay that's not increased so that is constant so the pressure is on them and the financial stability of their own household okay so this also has to change on the jobs level also, the author is telling 50 lakh people lost their jobs in October month alone as per some report from Center for Monitoring Indian Economy, CMI report. Okay. So now these kind of things, okay, these people usually don't use their money for any other non-essential purchases and all. They need it for sustenance and other things, basic food, fuel, uh, house rent. These, these are things they do. So for them, this is like the economy is pushing them more and more into poverty. Okay, this Manrega also, we discussed a detailed article, I think in the day one, number one also, the first article I had Manrega. So in that also, I told you that government is in short of budgets or the where the payment is done is not uh, too much fair or timely okay people everybody are not getting paid because there is a provision in the mandrega clause and all that if you don't get payment for these many days then an extra uh, penalty kind of thing is there which government has to give you people but that also was not being given okay even there was a little bit budget cut uh, in the recent ones because more of the budget is diverting towards compensating the older payment okay like see paying the liabilities of the previous financial year so like that many people are being unpaid for longer durations so there also the pressure is on jobs on the middle class people okay so these sectors are not improving these people are not recovering that is why they are telling k-shaped recovery now okay so again if you see us and the european economy they are telling they have stimulated the economy bottom up they have a lot of uh, social welfare schemes and the poorer people are coming up okay then you should see here a mention of a person called john minard keynes who popularized the concept of money multiplier money multiplier i think three times now back to back upsc have asked in uh, prelims okay so that you should know that is a simple thing money multiply means you should multiply the money like suppose the bank okay this is a bank so bank you are going and depositing some money okay like suppose you are savings account so you will put some 100 rupees Okay, then after some time, some interest will be there and they will give you 104 rupees, 4% 4 interest, suppose. But bank, what are they doing with your 100 rupees? They are giving it ahead as loan. Okay, so loan they will give and that person will get loan, but he has to return back how much? Some 9%, 10% interest will be there. 109 he will give back. So with your 100 rupee, they have made 109 rupee. That means they got 9 rupee profit. But in that only 104 is given means 4 rupees given remaining 5 rupees is here. So this money is now multiplied. Okay, increased. So that is a very simple, okay, very silly example I told you because this is not how it works. But you should understand that money gets multiplied every time when the people are using the banking system more and more. Okay, that was the prelims answer also. Like the uh, habit of the people should be improved. The banking habit of the people should be improved. Then the money multiplier will improve. Okay, so this and all was popularized by John Maynard Keynes. So that again, I'll tell you one more interesting thing which is there in your amazing textbook and all. Like there was first a person called Adam okay uh, he uh, adam smith he actually uh, started this capitalism kind of concept or he enforced on capitalism kind of concept then later karl marx came okay so karl marx came this is like his uh, timeline will be i think 17 something his time will be 18 something and then uh, john Maynard keynes okay this person in the 19 something okay the year i am telling centuries i am telling 17 18 19 so he told capitalism he told socialism where full government and he told the mixed one okay capital social mixed so this way if you study okay it will be very easy for you okay akj okay this is there in your amazing in a big two three chapters is full about this only in a simple way i told you he came with capitalism he came with socialism then the mixed came okay so he only concept uh, in, improved the sorry popularized the concept of money multiplier also so now 
the government okay has to prioritize more on the lower middle class people who have a tendency more to spend because they are going to spend on their daily things okay and it's not like they are going to save too much because it's the maybe upper middle class or the richer people who are getting extra money and they are going to more saving so people has to work more on the sorry the government has to work more on the welfare schemes and bringing up these lower middle class people okay that is what is being uh, told in this article only then you will have a proper recovery and a proper v-shaped recovery okay another thing you would have noticed like stock market we keep, keep telling like census has hit this much nifty has hit this much so we are always like telling it's too much but you should know that in india less than five percentage people only uh, invest in all these equities and all these things okay only they are being benefited by the recovery of stock market so a stock market revival is not equivalent to the full economy reco uh, this thing recovery okay so that is what is being told by the uh, author so the, we told jobs we told uh, that uh, two-wheeler thing and now we are telling stock market and now the welfare schemes again as i told welfare schemes has to increase already government is doing if you know that uh, 80 uh, crore population i think is getting uh, free ration okay since the pandemic began so it was like every time they will extend from march then they'll tell okay till diwali november now now today's newspaper and front page is there it is again extended to march okay so till next march 2022 these people will keep getting free ration and all these things so that has to continue people has to government has to focus on those things and again as i told increase progressive direct tax and reduce aggressive indirect tax to ease the financial pressure on lower income household okay now the last one net neutrality which was there in news a few years back also so you should know it is not a new thing so first thing what is net neutrality if you have to understand in a very uh, silly way i will tell you okay it's like a monopoly it will be created or it will be like people will get uh, addicted to one uh, telecom company and all so suppose like uh, uh, the water theme park okay like wanderla or something okay you are going there so obviously when you go there you will take like suppose now it's a thousand rupee ticket you go there and inside there you can go and play on all the themes all the water rights all the land rights all the giant wheel whatever is there you can play in everything in that theme park okay but now suppose they come up with a new thing like okay you have to pay thousand rupees but you will play only in the land rights water rights inside after reaching you have to pay separately that is not under our concern that is run by a different management we don't have to care okay it's inside our this thing only but we will not let you use so that kind of something comes it will not be something which people will prefer okay so this net neutrality was something which came in the telecom company okay right from the 2000s it was there conceptualized that suppose packages comes like this okay if there is no net neutrality this will be the case like you do this much recharge okay then airtel will so suppose a company okay airtel will tell you like okay use facebook twitter and this thing other things it's not in our control we will not let you use it if you want you go and take some other sim card okay suppose they tell that then will you take that so that kind of things were coming meaning this uh, telecom company okay airtel or g or whatever is their idea these things are there they will have vertical merger okay it's called vertical merger with the facebook whatsapp and all these things so only if that is there you will be able to access it or sometimes like access will be there for everything okay but whatever they have tie up only that will be loading okay else it will be like page will not ever load okay if they have tie up with facebook and no tie up with twitter your facebook app with load okay but twitter will not load because airtel don't have a tie up with them so this kind of some concept where telecom people were trying to create monopoly and then favoring only certain companies were going to come and people protested and then that was taken down okay neutral net neutrality concept has come back now okay this is actually a good thing net neutrality should be there but if there is uh, no net neutrality without net neutrality this kind of thing would have come okay so now it is again in the news with respect to internet companies okay so that we'll tell you so here if you see net neutrality the basic thing okay in answer if you have to write these are the three words you have to write no blocking no throttling no paid prioritization okay your isp isp means internet service provider okay airtel or uh, bsnl or whoever they cannot block you from accessing any legal content okay legal is a different thing but legal content they should allow you to do they should not tell you okay this app you can use that app you cannot use this app you can use at this speed that app you cannot use at this speed so that should not be there okay the traffic controlling the speed controlling the payment controlling nothing should be there okay that is called net neutrality so, and now next term which you have to study is ott why i'm telling you all this because in the article all these things will come okay so ott is something you know like all these platforms are there okay even the uh, uh, messenger apps like you can tell like whatsapp all these are now ruling the internet right because why i'm telling is earlier and all airtel was there they what is the sim used for the sim is for calls or sms or internet usage this is what you have been using now after whatsapp came are you calling are you doing sms you are directly doing whatsapp call and whatsapp sms meaning it completely is internet control so internet is now going a little bit above the telecom sectors that is a one a kind of gist in this article okay and here if you see ott okay it's over the top many people may not be knowing ott means over the top meaning first you know the distributor of content who it is like tv satellite so when a movie is playing in a particular channel okay 
some sony tv or some channel it is going on you cannot control it you cannot pause it you cannot uh, buffer it you cannot increase the speed you cannot change the subtitle you cannot do anything they will control it they will play ad whenever they want you have to sit and watch okay they had total control now something called over the top came where in this uh, woot or z5 or alt or prime media or netflix these people where they give you a movie also and they help you or give you speed control they can allow you change the language they can do anything you can pause it and watch later you can watch it again and again so this is now revolutionizing okay so this is called ott okay meaning they are going over the top of the internet and allowing direct viewership for the people okay so in a simple way i try to explain they are bypassing cable broadcast satellite television platforms everything they are by the traditional way everything is going the control and distribution of such content is gone away from the tv and satellite okay now in this article they are telling internet firms and the telecompanies okay telephone companies their growth and success and everything always go hand in hand but nowadays a new trend a new dynamics have been coming like they are working together okay there is tie up if you see 18 percentage of geo there is a ownership control for facebook google and also they are merging up because the new 5g technology the new internet of things even 6g and all recently some articles have been coming so these are like high speed internet where everything will be connected to everything so telecom companies and facebook uh, google all these internet companies are all coming together okay so this again as i told once the ott messaging service okay whatever messaging because most of the apps now allow you to message each other chat with each other okay even in google pay and all you can chat with each other so you don't need your airtel sim and so the revenues of text messaging of telephone companies they are going down and because of the voice over internet protocol that is again the same thing you're doing whatsapp call you're doing any call through these kind of apps then the sim people they are not getting anything the telecom companies are not getting anything okay because the ott service provider is a threat now to telecom companies okay then here one more term if you see there is something called walled garden okay this again is like one thing trying to control everything okay like in iphone if you know they have your they have their iStore, they have their specific number of apps they have their tie up with that apps you cannot get any other app okay if you take iphone and if you take an android phone there are many restrictions in iphone okay iphone has everything what you need but you cannot download whichever app you like like you do in play store in android okay they have long-term contractual agreement and they have their own proprietary app store so they are creating a walled garden so everything within that you can use okay they have a garden they have a tie-up with their own things like att and wireless and all in usa they have particular network particular phone this is what you can use you cannot put any other sim you cannot do any other app you cannot do anything else okay even bluetooth may not be there maybe some things will not be there so it depends okay the music download everything depends that is kind of a walled garden now in india also they are telling that like geo and all Reliance Geo, they are going and uh, tying up with Google and these things for their next concept of Geo phone next. Okay, a 5G phone is going to come. So they are going to tie up. So only whatever Google provides, maybe that will be there. Only what they prefer, only that apps will be there. So that kind of things, wall garden concept is coming up soon. Okay. And under the wall garden, this companies like this R Geo or this iPhone, they are calling a term called platform captain. Why I'm telling you all this, like UPC sometimes will ask, like wall garden and platform cap captain was in news in context of what? So you should know, like it is like telecom internet company. Okay. So that is why I'm teaching you this. So this uh, kind of thing, okay, new element of competition into the telecom internet company relationship. Okay. This new thing is what is being uh, discussed here. So what the author is telling, there should be a proper regulation also of these things because for telecom, we know the try and all there is proper regulation. Okay. Internet, but everything is not properly regulated. They have a lot of uh, freedom. They are doing a lot of things, no censorship so a proper regulatory thing should be there this asymmetric stance okay this will not be good in the long run okay so the net neutrality regulation again they are telling that was a good thing in terms of uh, telecoms whoever had the high significant market power in telecoms to bring them down we had something called net neutrality regulation which had as i told vertical merger with content and application provider so that was a good thing net neutrality okay so same like that for internet companies also something should be uh, there okay net neutrality regulation that prohibits discriminatory treatment of internet companies okay so here if you see over the past decade what happened internet has evolved into a point where internet companies also provide an essential service and enjoy significant market power okay example like google is there google is the search engine whenever you do one thing you are not telling like go and search on the internet you are telling like go and google in the internet okay the term has become so much popular and also when you search suppose the uh, best uh, smartphone to buy okay cheapest smartphone to buy do you think they will list iphone or even if it is cheap do you think it is uh, put anything okay any suppose cheap company which is not google's product do you think it will list they will always list their products only wherever android things are there they will list that only so there is a manipulation towards certain firms so this is like same thing what happened with the telecom companies earlier 
they were trying to do that anti net neutrality in telecom sector same like that now internet companies are favoring someone okay telling like you search in our thing you will get only our products so this thing this vertical integration between search engine company and downstream companies that should stop so net neutrality principles need to be applied to internet companies as well okay so this is exactly what mains question will come okay gs3 they will put a question like net neutrality principle uh, need to be applied to internet companies justify okay you have to write exactly what is in this article you have to explain what is net neutrality how it was brought down what are the companies example what is happening outside india what is happening inside india what is the future so this all things you have to note down okay this is a proper straightforward answer to you okay so see to it that every day editorial like this you are making notes okay so telecom companies to provide equal access for interconnecting with telecom network same like that you should have interconnection regulation for everything okay because there are a lot lot of overlapping and walled wall, sorry walled garden things which i told you again like I, iphone and that uh, rgo so now we have to have regulatory practice outside india in european union and in us and all many many things have started to coming okay unified regulatory framework india also needs to have a integrative perspective okay upsc can ask like this also india needs to have a integrative perspective when it comes to uh, telecoms and internet companies justify or explain elucidate you have to write this article only okay but in a proper bullet point way with the introduction with a conclusion maybe a quote maybe a diagram that is how your answer will be better okay so i hope you are understanding what is the significance of editorial okay direct questions can come from this so again check out all the classes whatsapp me and see to it that you have subscribed and like and comment for this video i expect it is already done okay so i'll come with the next episode thank you and have a nice day